Hello people, I have made a two player tic tac toe that is XN0 game in graphics Edge in Turbo C. Uh, let me show you how the actual gameplay is. I'm running the game and I'm asking for uh, user 1 wants X or 0. I'm entering 1 for X and the plotting has to be done according to the numpad. You can see in the screen. To plot in the according region, you have to press the keys corresponding to the numpad. And now let's play the game. Now it's player one's turn, and I'm plotting in the very first region, and I will press seven for that. And you can see the plotting is done. Now it's player two's turn, and I'm pressing five to plot in the middle region. Now it's player one's turn. Let's plot um, in region 3. Okay. And now I'm entering 2. And now let's enter 1. And now let's plot in region 8. Now clearly, player 2 wins because you can see the circles or the zeros are in a row. Okay. So this is the actual game. Let's see how it's coded. I'll start with the basic game logic how I have put up the game variables. Initially I have declared an enum rater called shape for 0 and x and like 0 corresponds to 0 and x corresponds to 1. Then uh, an enum with player 1 and player 2, player 1 has value 0, player 2 is 1 and an integer array of size n that will hold uh, values of uh, how the values have been allocated in the uh, in the game board and all the values have been initialized to minus 1 and for every plotting there is some value assigned to the index uh, like if uh, one is plot, if x is plotted, then one will be uh, the assigned to the corresponding um, array index, and there is a small boolean called is game over integer game over. It's it's actually integer type. Uh, it says whether the game is over or not. Then and the first turn will be of the player one, and current mode. Uh, is set to x but uh, we are asking for the user whether he wants to start with x or 0 then we have a variable called user block choice uh, that will hold the values of the region that we are going to plot like uh, I have put 7 for the very first block and then a game counter that will be incremented every time there is an assignment done or plotting is done and this game counter will go up to 9 because there would be max to max 9 uh, plotting right and these are the only two functions I use plot board and pl uh, plot shape and plot shape will take a, a parameter called a shape whether to plot a x or 0 and the block 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay and in the main function we have, I have initialized the graphics and this is the instruction screen you can see first one I'm asking whether the user wants to play with X or 0 and then I will assign it to the current mode and then these are, these are the instructions that you have seen in the main screen then I have cleared the screen to play a fresh game and then I'm plotting the board see how I'm plotting the board we'll go to directly go to the plot board function from here Okay. Now this is a plot board function. Initially, we are getting. I'm taking the values of max x and max y coordinates of the screen to these variables, and I'm plotting the four lines as you have seen initially for the board. Okay. And now I'm going to assign minus one to all of the all of the locations inside the array right and this is a game loop this is called a game loop this will this loop will 
run for the time until the game is over so let's see this game loop okay and initially i am asking for the user block choice player x uh, player 1 or player 2 turn i am taking the user block choice and i am constantly taking these values uh, in a while loop because it may happen that user will enter a wrong choice and repeat a block that has already been assigned so unless the block which user has selected has a value minus 1 take the user block choice okay and after that assign the board uh, array with the index of the user block choice and the current mode like if it x is plotted in uh, in region 7 then for then 6 and then board of 6 will hold the value of 1 and i'm in incrementing the game counter and this is the logic to check whether a player has won like if these are the winning conditions these are the horizontal plotting conditions these these okay uh, you can see them in detail for x or y so if any of the player wins or they satisfy the condition then the game over will be set to 1 that means the game is already over now and the player whose turn it is wins I have used turn plus 1 because player 1 is assigned the value uh, value 0 according to enumerator right and if the game is not if the game uh, game counter is set to 9 that is 9 moves happen and the game is still not over it is a tie right and after the user has selected a uh, selected a region then I am going to plot a shape what to plot is the parameters the current mode that is x or 0 and the user block choice let's move to the plot shape function the plot shape function is very simple and this will take an argument shape s or block it will set the color of the plotting uh, shapes that is if it is x then the uh, plotting color will be set to red else blue if it is a circle or zero right and according to the switch conditions if the block is one then the two then two crossing lines will be plotted else a circle will be plotted similarly we can see there are nine conditions okay and so once the plotting is done we will swap the current mode from x to 0 and vice versa like if it x has been plotted then the current mode next will be 0 and we have to swap the turn of the player and this is a very simple logic instead of checking if uh, current mode equal to x then 0 or 0 then 1 this is a very simple logic wherein uh, the value will be just current value will be just changing changed from 1 minus the current mode like if it is 0 it will be set to 1 if it is 1 it will be set to 0 similar for the turn and after the game is over just take a user input to end up the game I will be putting a separate video on how to plot these lines like how I have managed to uh, plot the x and zeros on the screen in a separate video. Hope you like my game logic. Thank you.